Hi everyone, today we are going to see the difference between smoke and sanity testing. Although it looks similar, it creates a lot of confusion mainly during the interviews. We will look into the difference in detail in our further presentation. So these are the major differences between smoke and sanity testing. Smoke testing as the name implies it is originated in the hardware testing. So whenever a new hardware is designed and manufactured and when for the first time it is switched on, it shouldn't catch fire or smoke. That is called smoke testing. But now even in software line, we have derived test cases for perform the smoke testing. So when we look in the first point, it says it's a shallow and wide approach. So smoke testing in software industry will be performed mainly in all areas of the application without getting into too deep. Unlike smoke testing, sanity testing is a narrow regression testing. That is, it will focus in one or few areas of the functionality. That is, a smoke test is designed to touch every part of the application in a very cursory way. That is why it is a very shallow and wide. But sanity in few areas of the functionality, but it will be tested in a very deep manner. Basically, the smoke test is scripted, that is either by using written set of tests or using automation test. But sanity test is usually unscripted. Mainly, the smoke test is to make sure whether the crucial functions of our program are working. But in sanity testing, whenever a new functionality or a bug is introduced in our application, we will check that small section of the application is working fine even after that minor changes. So smoke testing is like general health checkup, but sanity is like specialized health checkup. So the main objective of the smoke testing is to exercise this entire system from end to end. But in sanity testing, only particular component of the entire system is tested. Testing is mainly performed by developers or tested in smoke, but in sanity it is performed by testers. In some organizations, smoke testing is also known as build verification test because whenever new build is released, we have to make sure that the build will not be broken and it is actually ready for the actual testing phase. That's why it is called build verification test. Sanity testing is mainly done to verify whether end user requirements are met or not. So these are the major differences between smoke and sanity testing. So if we look into this flowchart, we can make out the difference very clearly. So see the smoke testing, it actually starts um, during the initial builds. That is when the software is relatively unstable. It checks only the critical functionalities like whether the application starts successfully. So these are the very critical functionality, very basic function functionality testing so that in order to make sure that further testing can be performed only the smoke testing passes it will go for further system and regression testing but in sanity testing we are actually testing the stable bills that is um, after multiple rounds of regression tests once the build becomes stable we are testing the sanity it verifies the new functionality and bug fixes in that build. So once the test is passed, we are going for testing, um, regression and for system. These are some of the examples of smoke testing. Suppose you have a project that, that, that has a web page um, like login page, home page, users details page, new user creation and task creation. The smoke testing is mainly um, performed to check whether the application launches successfully, checking whether the GUI is responsible. So these are the basic testing which has to be performed before going um, into further deep testing. So let us look into an example of sanity testing. We can take the same example um, as previously we have taken a web page. Similarly, um, if you have some bug in the login page and the tester reports a bug and the developer fixes that bug and releases a new build, the tester will test that um, particular bug whether it has been fixed and also the other modules in order to check whether the new code will not affect the other modules. So these are some of the examples of sanity testing. Thank you so much for listening. 
if you want to learn more concepts in software testing please subscribe to our channel we people thank you